I'm pretty sure I first met Noni Hazelhurst in 1974 on the set of the Crawford Productions cop show, Division 4. The episode was titled Eyewitness and it was filmed here in Melbourne Studley Park. I was playing a rookie cop, Constable Roger Wilson, my first regular TV role, and Noni played the poor victim who, according to IMDb, is criminally assaulted and is so shocked that she can't remember who did it. Noni always joked that her Crawford days consisted of, as she said, playing helpless blonde victims who didn't know what day of the week it was. She said, all I usually had to do was stand against a tree and scream. That's how she des described it. A far cry from uh, the, the deep and uh, heartbreaking roles that would later define her career. Our friendship started then and there and it's lasted 42 years and counting. Now, a couple of years after that epic Division Four episode, we were both regulars in another Crawford classic, The Sullivans. I played John Sullivan, who was a medical student, and Noni was Lil Duggan, a rather helpless and, again, a blonde young wife who lived next door at Mrs Jessup's, where John eventually delivered Lil's baby on the couch in the living room. I remember during rehearsals, Noni had this great sense of humour and she looked up at me. Um, I was kneeling on the couch and her legs were somehow across my shoulders as I attempted to work out how I could convincingly deliver this baby and she looked me in the eye and she said, you know, from your particular vantage point, you have a real insight into my acting method which very few people ever get to see. <laughs> and I hope you never forget it. And I never have. I have been lucky enough to work with Noni many times since we met on stage and on screen. Noni has always been a delight to work with and a delight to be with. She's one of the most supportive, enthusiastic, funny and generous and kindest friends I have. Hello, I'm John. And today... <laughs> we're looking through the square window. It's through those uh, magical windows into the world of play school that I first met Noni and I'd, I, I was the lucky one who got to help her out with her screen test piece, her audition piece for the ABC, having already done play school for a little bit. And um, I, I, she came on and uh, I, I thought, I've seen her in Sullivan's, I know she's a really good actor, so uh, I wonder if she can do play school because, you know, not all the great actors can do play school, you know. I, I think that's probably why I got the job. They looked around, and who's not going to make it as an actor? You, you'll do. But anyway, Noni came on and she was brilliant. She was uh, relaxed and she was so beautifully prepared. She got everything right. She made her, she didn't break any paddle pop sticks or any, anything like that. And, and, and she, she had the warmth and the genuineness through the lens of the camera that was so perfect. And she retained her sense of humor and her naturalness and her spontaneity. And I went to the producer, I said, don't give her the gig. The rest of us are going to look like crap. But they did give her the gig, and uh, I spent a uh, great many years uh, playing with uh, Big Ted and Little Ted and Jemima with Noni. I had the pleasure also of doing uh, a telly movie, a mini series, Nancy Wake, when Noni so brilliantly played the fabulous war heroine. I played her husband, Henri Fiocca, and uh, we had a fabulous shoot. We, uh, we went to shot in, in France. We shot in the Eiffel Tower in the south of France. It was like being on SBS. And we, we, that, that wasn't a joke, by the way, Leland. It was a heartfelt. And, uh, and I found out something about uh, Noni on, during our rap party. We formed a band with those of us who were musicians in the cast and crew. And uh, Noni got up there and she sang the hell out of Would I Lie to You by the Eurythmics. And, and uh, she may have somehow morphed into Australia's most respected matriarch, but I can tell you Noni is a rock chick. And not only that, I have seen her perform as Pavarotti singing Nessun Dorma in perfect Italian with a handkerchief to her face and everything. It's true. <laughs> So with a humble tissue box and some safety scissors, cellophane and a couple of chopsticks, I made my first boat when I was four and I had help. With no formal training as a marine engineer, I turned to the one person I could trust, Noni. It's my belief that from the years 1978 to 2002, Noni Hazelhurst is responsible for a flotilla of ships across Australian lounge rooms. She's the one who helped us learn. That was my childhood, it was everything I expected, but what I didn't expect was that almost two decades later, I'd still be learning from this wonderful woman. 
And uh, I remember a night before we even started on a place to call home, we were at a cast dinner and uh, the wine was flowing and I saw Noni get up, walk around the table and kneel beside me. She took my hand, she held it very tightly as she does and she said, if you need me, you call me. Even if it's 2 a.m., you call me. Now I've tested this and uh, Noni was there. No matter the time or the need, Noni was there. I couldn't have asked for a better mentor. And when I think of Noni's career, which has now spanned four decades, she's worked in theatre, film and television, I applaud her longevity, especially as a woman in this industry. In Australian lounge rooms, when Noni's face pops up on the screen, three generations can't help but smile. Here she comes, the beautiful, the versatile, the talented. What is your name, love? That's Noni Hazelhurst. Noni Hazelhurst! Noni Hazelhurst. The name just brings a smile to your face. She really is a powerhouse. So powerful and, and uncompromising. Noni could do it all. Sing, dance, present, act. You've treated me just the same as you would anyone else. And if I don't mean any more to you than the average citizen, Paul, then what have we got? Love? She's this really interesting mix of vulnerability and, and strength. I try to do my best, but there never seems to be any time. Well, I think everyone in Australia just adored the Sullivans. Don't bear down, Lil. Don't push. Just take shallow breaths. That's it. Set in the Second World War, of course. And Noni was one of the cast that just had that believability that she could have been in that era. Yeah, well, you won't have to worry. You'll be out of it soon. You won't have to worry about me. You'll be off in the army. That's right. Doing my bit. Well, I hope you go soon. And the sooner the better. I think that she fills those roles perhaps because she has a sense of style and a sense of history. You've got to remember, her parents were music hall performers. You can tell me. Noni loves a laugh. That's where she comes from. R-E-S-B-C-T, find out what it means to me. Golf's in the lodge and all's right with the world. I mean, did you have to punch him in the eye and then kick him in the you-know-where? Shannon, you aren't even listening to me. You messed the whole date up and you're not even listening. What are you doing here? We're on strike. Oh, goody. There was a wonderful series called Waterfront in which I first acted with Noni. Max, I know you could make a go of it. You'd do much better than on the walls. You'd make some money. You'd... Yeah, I could marry you. I thought you'd never ask. What was she like as a kisser? I knew I wasn't the first bloke. Well, they put it that way. She obviously understands men quite well, um, how to treat men. I know you're irresistible to women, but get it in your head. I don't need you. I don't need you to work for me. I don't need you to run the place. I don't need that. It's a number of miniseries, uh, virtually films on television. Make you old bastard. And um, Noni just carved it up. You mongrel! <laughs> Bonsoir, madame. Bonsoir, monsieur. I'm Tadiba. I'm thrilled. From that, you leap to play school. Bananas in pajamas. A lot of fun with Noni on play school. Can you see my funny walk? Noni was always there to help me. You ever put a nappy on a baby? Yeah. Well, can you manage that bit? I was there to help her. It's a nice piece of carrot. Can you put your sausage in it? No, thank you. Keep your sausage to yourself. Where was George? You know. Excuse me, little boy Blue. I just want to see what the name of today is. In Noni's case, doing a job like play school was about talking to kids, it's like an auntie or a nanny, but more so a mum. Here we are. Hello, welcome to the program. Hello. It wasn't a real job. It was just they're paying us to go and do what we love. And that was in the homes and gardens. And a whole pile of finely chopped veggies. Doing a lot of the better homes and gardens from a house. Noni had a house 
fixed the way she wanted them. Well, there are loads of terrific energy efficient ideas in this house. You had these blokes come in to do a garden the way she wanted it done. Good on you, Dan. I buy a bit big. Having the network fix your house up for you is <laughs> a pretty good little coup, really, when you come to think of it. And here's a tip. Not, not a lot of people know this about Nani. She can cry on cue. I could point at her now and she could produce the tears. I take a photo of one or other of my children and I put it somewhere close to me on the set and I just think about all the things that I wish I'd done with them that I never did because you don't have time to do everything you want to do with your kids. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. I mean, we all have a touch point, and that's it for me. George, I should like to speak to you in private. Her ability to play strength and power. Well, then, Carolyn is right. You have lost your mind. If that's how you see it, that's your choice. George, can't you see? You are being manipulated. Give me some credit. Then there is a, a lovely, smooth transition when she's playing vulnerable. Stop doing this to my son, please. Stop doing this to my son. One of the most fearless actors that I've ever had the pleasure to work opposite. Noni has had a singular career, um, an inspiring career. The breadth of work and the dedication to the work and the passion for the work. When you've wanted quality, you've always had it, but now you can just put a name to it and it's Noni Hazlitt. People feel and believe that they know Noni. Every day, one way or another, Noni Hazlehurst has been on the screen for a lot of people, right through their lives and then their children's lives. Congratulations, Noni. They've finally seen that little speckle glowing out. I cannot think of anyone more deserving. No one deserves it more than you. You're up there with the best. You are an absolute Australian national treasure. Congratulations, Noni. Congratulations, Noni. Congratulations, mate. Congratulations, Noni.